السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر عدیل ریاض کنسلٹنٹ ریڈیولوجسٹ ایٹ الیاس میڈیکل اینڈ ڈائگنوسٹک سینٹر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پریزینٹ آور سکس ایپیسوڈ آف الٹرا ساؤنڈ ٹریننگ کورس اینڈ ان دس ایپیسوڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ہاؤ ٹو ویولائز دا گال بیڈر فار دس پرپز آئی ہیو ٹو ٹیل یو فیو پری ریکوزٹ اٹس بیٹر اف دا پیشنٹ از ہیونگ سکس اور فاسٹنگ سو دیٹ دا گال بیڈر شوڈ بی ان دا ڈسٹینڈڈ اسٹیٹ However, if the patient is not uh, uh, fasting, even then we can perform the ultrasound. But really for uh, new buys, I will recommend that you should go with the uh, patient with appropriate fasting. So now let's start with the ultrasound. Share to button. For this ultrasound, I am going to use curved array probe. This is my curved array probe. which is of 3.75 megahertz i will start the ultrasound with the patient lying supine and i will put my probe in the epigastric region here you can see as gall bladder is a bile filled structure fluid filled structure so it appear black on the ultrasound this is gall bladder to properly visualize the gall bladder i have to look it from mid axillary line i will put my probe in the mid uh, in right hypochondrium near the mid axillary line and i will tilt it a little bit upward means anteriorly and i will try to visualize the gall bladder here this is the gall bladder i will ask the patient to take a deep breath lamba saans andar leke roke by taking a deep breath i will uh, overcome if any rib shadows are there this is the gall bladder normal saans lete rahe phir dobara lamba saans andar leke roke Here is the gall bladder. Normal size. This is the gall bladder. Here I can see the gall bladder in its whole outline. This is the fundus of the gall bladder. This is body of the gall bladder, and this is the neck of the gall bladder. In this patient, the gall bladder is having no stone or sludge. If it will be having any stone, it would be appear white within its lumen. I will upload a video tomorrow hopefully uh, with the uh, a gall bladder showing the stones so again this is the gall bladder and this is the liver gall bladder study is not complete until you ask the patient to turn toward the left side turn and visualize it from a little bit anteriorly because if there is any stone it will move in the dependent portion and will be clearly visible take a deep breath lamba saans andar leke roke here i am going to analyze the gall bladder again this is gall bladder any stone within the gall bladder will appear white but we have to make it very clear that the gas in within the duodenum could also appear white and could mimic a gall stone so we are not going to over diagnose the gall stones uh, gas in the uh, duodenum should be kept in mind when evaluating okay now with the gall bladder after evaluating the gall bladder i am going to visualize the common bile duct lamba saans andar leke roke here after the gall bladder just adjacent to it just adjacent to the neck of the gall bladder normal saans lete rahe this hypoechoic linear structure is a common bile duct i will take a measurement of it it is 3.4 mm and just below 
the CBD is the portal vein. This is portal vein. Now I will put the Doppler flow and you will be able to realize that there is flow in the portal vein and no flow in the CBD. Look, there is color flow in the portal vein, normal sans lethene, and no flow in the CBD. Please keep it in mind that it is necessary to evaluate the gallbladder by turning the patient toward the left side because if you will not turn the patient and will evaluate the gallbladder only in one plane, you could miss any stones in the neck of the GB. Any impacted stone in the neck of the GB in this region could be missed. See the plates. Huh? With this, we came to the end of the sixth episode. Um, in a day or two, I will uh, upload a short video. Uh, in which uh, gallstones uh, will be shown as soon as I got a patient with the gallstones I will upload the video. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe like and share our channel. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz